Today, I'm repotting my elephant ear plant. This is what it looks like right now. And as you can see, the container that it's in is pretty small. The roots have started to overgrow. They're starting to grow in the opposite direction and they are just really, really getting strong and big. So I have to put them in a better home with more space so that they can flourish, so that my plant can continue to grow tall. But this is what it looks like before. And this is the pot I'm gonna be placing it into once we remove it from its smaller pot. And this pot is, I was going for about double the size and I think that this may be a little bit more than double, but it is a good step up. So I'm gonna be using the miracle Grow potting mix. And if you can see this video, I'm just gonna put it in there. This is what the plant used to look like. It was growing on the side of my original elephant ear. And so I just took it and I potted it in this small container. And so, yeah, it's time for it to get a new home. It's been growing really big and strong. So as you see, I just put about half of a pot of dirt into the flower pot. And I'm doing this before I put the plant in because I want the roots to have space, empty dirt to grow down into around the pot and all of that. But if I were to just put the plant right at the bottom where the plastic of the container is or the flower pot, you know, it wouldn't have any space to grow down. It would essentially not be effective so yeah half a pot of dirt in the flower pot as you see and then the next task is to get this flower out of this container now i'm gonna go in here with my color application brush don't judge me i don't have any gardening tools you guys can see i don't even have on any gardening gloves i'm just out here one with my plants and my color applicator brush but I just went in there to loosen up the dirt because I'm gonna go ahead and dump out the dirt from this elephant plant and I'm just knocking it around to loosen it up. I'm gonna have to do that again, just as a, as a heads up for you guys. I try to take as much gentle care as possible when I have to repot my plants. Um, if you didn't see my previous video where I repotted my plant before, the big, 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 it's a huge elephant ear plant. Um, when I repotted that one, please go check it out. Voila, the plant is out of its old container. As you can see, it's very tight. It's still in the form of that container. I'm just gonna go ahead and start getting all this dirt from around the roots. I want the roots to be free so that they know they don't have to grow in the same pattern in that tight coil anymore because they are getting a new home. And I also wanna make sure that I'm being gentle that I'm not breaking the roots or like ripping them because they have to stay intact. Otherwise the plant will die <laughs> and we don't want that. It honestly felt like a cupcake. Like just imagine a chocolate cupcake and I'm just breaking it up. But yeah, I started to go in through the bottom and stick my finger in there to try and get the dirt to fall more I wanted to free up the roots as much as possible, even though I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I didn't want to remove too much dirt and then, you know, have to take extra care that I didn't like kill the plants here. But yeah, I just removed dirt. And then this is eventually what I got it to look like. And I was happy with this. I was like, look, the roots are down enough. They gonna know, they going they got a brain. They gonna know where to go. They gonna know where to go. All I gotta do is put them in this dirt. Put them in that dirt, just like that. Wham. And after I spread out the roots, as you guys can see me doing now, I'm just spreading them out. Um, some of them I kind of stuck down into the dirt to just give them an initial direction to go. And then I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the pot with some dirt. Kinda got a little messy, but I think I managed all right. I think I managed all right. I just wanna make sure it's even. And I did go ahead and pat the dirt down, but not too, too tight. I just wanna 
let y'all know it wasn't too too tight so I patted it down and then I don't know but it looks still like it could get some more dirt to me so I'm just going on ahead and top it off and make sure that it is full and then I spread that out and yeah this is what it looks like after I'm all done. I think it looks really good. I can't wait to show you guys an update of how it comes along. I wonder if it's going to get as big as my original elephant plant was when this one started to grow on the side of it. I wonder if the roots and everything will start to really get really, really big and it if it'll <laughs> develop a trunk like the last one because this is an elephant ear and the base of my other one was really thick and it really resembled an elephant trunk so i'm excited to get this one there I, I really am but it's looking so good as you can see this leaf is about to die but um another one blooming soon mm -hmm. 